Hello everyone, I am Tijaswini and this is my masterclass. We have Kanika here with us today and she wants to properly learn to contour and highlight. So we are hoping that this makeup cramming session will be useful for you guys as well. So let's get started. So Tijaswini is like a powder better or like a cream based contouring thing for your face? So I actually prefer using a powder for real life contouring. Cream and liquid products are great if you're contouring for the cameras or you know just for photography or videography. But if you plan to meet people in real life and you want to face people person to person, powder is a better option. Liquids and creams can look very intimidating and strong. So Kanika, we're going to use a contouring powder from Color Bar and we'll use this fluffy brush and what I want you to do is just apply it coming down from your earlobe towards somewhere which is in between your nose and your mouth okay. and just run the brush up and down a couple of times keep your cheeks sucked in so that you can find the natural hollow of your cheekbones let's get started yes make a fish face awesome so it's like a straight line up and down yes oh. it already looks like the sign let's try doing that uh, under the jawline as well oh. Just follow your natural jawline, yeah. So to just for me, apart from like my jawline and my cheekbones, what else can I contour? You could use the contouring powder around the periphery of your forehead and even down the bridge of your nose. But I wouldn't contour your forehead because you have a shorter forehead. If somebody has a much larger forehead, then it makes sense for them to contour here as well. I would do the nose contouring only for pictures or for videos. So is this like dark enough or should I like put a little bit more of it? I think that it looks dark enough but if you want it to look darker and if you want that illusion of depth to really show up more, you can just take some of your loose powder on a fan brush and apply this powder right under the area where you have contoured. Now what this will do is that it will make this line appear darker without you actually darkening it. So Kanika, now that we have created a chisel on your face, let's start highlighting. We will be using this powder highlighter from the Color Bar Flawless Touch Highlight and Contour Kit. Just apply it uh, on the tops of your cheekbones in slight soft circular motions. Like this? Yes. Perfect. So. Do it on the other side. So I have this concern that every time I put on highlighter, so after a certain time or like after a few hours, my face gets like very oily or like it just gets very shiny. Like, so what do I do to kind of magnify that? So if your face is getting oily or shiny um, as the day progresses, then you need to make sure that you have applied a mattifying primer before you start your makeup. And don't be so generous with the highlighter. You could also take the highlighter on your temple and just do it very lightly. Don't overdo it, otherwise it can get oily throughout the day. So that was my masterclass on contouring and highlighting with one simple product from Color Bar. I hope that you found today's video useful and the steps were easy to follow. We can't wait to come back to you guys with more masterclasses. Bye!